whitewash what the media won't tell you about Hillary Clinton, but conservatives will. It's a new book that seeks to shed some light on Hillary Clinton's run for the presidency. Joining me is the author, Brent Bozell. He's also president of the Media Research Center. Good morning to Good morning. you. Good morning. You're up you? early because I saw you on Hannity and Combs last night talking about your new book right here called Whitewash. Apropos that it's coming out now because, of course, Hillary Clinton is running for the presidency of the United States. The main message of your book is that conservatives are going to tell you stuff that mainstream media is not about Hillary Clinton. You know, what? when we thought of the idea at first, we, went, we wondered, should we do another book on Hillary Clinton? Mm -hmm. Then we isolated the media's coverage of Hillary alone. And it was astounding. My colleague Tim Graham and I looked at this and we said, but this is a pattern where since 1992, the media have been her cheerleaders. Every single time she's gotten into trouble, they throw up a big wall between her and the American people. The American people don't learn the truth about her. She continues doing what she's doing. And to this day, you're seeing that same pattern. Look at the Norman Shoe scandal that we just went through. The that bundling was, campaign yeah. donation scandal. I, here is, as Bob Terrell calls it, the chop suey connection. Here's another Asian fundraiser. Razor, who's, who's sneaking money. The LA Times just broke a story about Chinatown money coming to, to Hillary and no one knows where these donors are. Mm -hmm. This is a continuation of that but the but the networks ABC, NBC, CNN primarily simply will not report it and the media as a whole will not get to the bottom of these stories. If somebody writes a story no one ever gets to the resolution phase to find out exactly what so happened. So what are you saying because the Clintons are known for answering questions by saying I don't have information about that or turning the responsibility allegedly sometimes in another direction. Are you saying then that the mainstream media does not pick up on that and delve into it more? Isn't it extraordinary that Hillary Clinton is posited by the media as the single most brilliant uh, woman at the walking on the face of this earth, but every single time she gets into trouble, she said, I didn't know anything about it, and the media accept that and walk away. Whether again, Norman Shu, whether it is right now. With, what about with, posing the questions? Her staff over the weekend, that was she, the latest She story. knew nothing about that, and yet, if you look at the record with Hillary Clinton, she's intimately involved in every decision that is made in her life. She knows exactly what she's doing, and the media give her a free pass. The interesting thing I thought about this book was, once we did this, we then posited, we, we, we posed to a series of, of conservative leaders, Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, Lauren Grum, Ann Coulter, we gave them this information, we asked them about it, and what they had to say about it is fascinating. And what they say about it is in your book right they're, here, which is a different way of looking at it because it's not just you looking at the research of the way the media is covering it. You also get their comments the about it. The research is there. The story is there. But then the analysis, when you, when you hear Rush Limbaugh comment on things, when you hear Ann Coulter or Newt Gingrich comment on things, it's, it's rather fascinating. There's a chapter in here about Tammy Wynette. And, of course, uh, Hillary Clinton said, stand by my man. That's going to be her motto through the Monica Lewinsky scandal, the Jennifer Flowers situation. Uh, uh, you, you believe that she was not necessarily telling the truth. No, and she that, said no. she didn't know about those so, I, it's not that I don't but I, it's not that 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 I don't believe she was telling the truth. I know she wasn't telling the truth we have a chapter on the 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 infamous quote in her book on, on August 15th 1998 where she was gasping for air where she was couldn't breathe and she said to Bill Clinton how did you do this to me when she learned about Monica Lewinsky it's a flat-out lie in fact if it's true she's the only person in the United States of America who who, who didn't know what he had done hmm. plus the whole vast right-wing conspiracy attack right. she still owes to the American people an apology whitewash is the name of the book Brent Wazell is the author great to see you today thank you for having me